Welcome to Dust Off the Bricks. I have built, built a custom um, <clears throat> campground. Uh, so uh, let me show you around a little bit and let's start at the log cabin over here. So we've got a little log cabin. We've got our park rangers out front. This is where the park rangers stay. Um, so you've got just typical thing, a door, two windows, and a little light outside. Up top here, I do have a don't know a uh, little smoke coming out of the chimney here. Don't know if this is a t technically illegal uh, um, Lego technique, but um, because they don't stay on there very well. But this uh, roof comes off, and these I'll pull these poles off. They're just more for looks. And you got your um, table and chairs. Uh, with coffee mugs and then you got your bunk beds. I did cover uh, colorful um, uh, Sleeping bags because I feel like sleeping bags are really colorful. So I picked two colorful um, uh, co uh, Tiles there to put as the sleeping bags. I have a little um, sink here so they can uh, um, Wash their hands and stuff and then I have this pot belly stove here if you look carefully you'll see uh, transparent orange, um, transparent orange little studs underneath, uh, showing that it's kind of running. You have a little oven over here, opens up, should open up, and then the pot by stove opens up, and inside you should see uh, a bunch of transparent orange uh, studs acting as if the stove is on and the uh, fireplace is going um and yeah so let's uh put this all back together as you can see over here in this corner uh brittle brown has uh acted again uh broke that one by six tile taking it off at some point all right so i built these two trees a little bit different than trees i've built in the past there's also uh, one right back here. Um, just kind of tried out trees. It gave me a little bit more space than the one I did in my uh, Gown to Deserted Island mock. So I like these trees quite a bit more. Um, and this is also the first time I've done plates on top of plates over here. I just did plates on top of plates to kind of show a transition between because this is a two bricks high and this is one brick high. Um, just show transition better, <clears throat> better than just straight up slopes like I did in that uh, mock as well. I have scrolls everywhere, um, but let's move on to the bathroom, which is right here. So I was trying to figure out texturing for the roof, and I figured out this vent and um, ch uh, cheese wedge or cheese slopes um, design. I don't know how I feel about it. I like it actually a decent amount, but tell me what you think about it. And then I built this sloped up uh, bathroom. You got a little lamp again. And inside you have a toilet and a, um, and a sink there. So there's no shower in this one. So uh, in this campsite, so hopefully uh, the trailers have them. And then I also have two uh, lamp posts, one here and one on the other side of this tree right here. So let's uh, move to the first campsite. We have, I use a lot of the molded trees because um, like I'm completely out of cylinders. Um, one by uh, one by one cylinder pieces. So uh, I kind of had to uh, um, just use these molded bushes and trees and stuff, but I have this thing that I made. It holds the lanterns. I saw this at a campsite once, so um, so I decided to try to make it, and this is what I came up with. So every single campsite has one of those. Three of the campsites has a picnic table, and then every single one has a um, has a fireplace and um, a rack on top of it. So these people are making hot dogs. They have ketchup, mustard. This lady's making her hot dog right here. There's a can of soda there and a plate with a spoon for some reason. Um, then you have a guy taking a picture with his coffee mug. We have this uh, 
every single, well, there's three campers that are already made sets. So this is already, uh, was a set. I just put it in here, but every single one has electrical hookup. I used just a little, uh, two little control panel things and then a short rope, uh, for the electrical hookup. So they have electrical, no water, um, at least at this camp ground. And then I have this cobblestone pathway made out of a bunch of either two by two cylinders or one by one cylinders. Pretty much used every one I could find. That was a um, that was a uh, nature color. So here's another campsite. Here you can see the ra uh, fire pit rails kind of go up and down like most campsites. Has its um, uh, holder for a lantern and their hookup. Then here you have a boy trying to catch a butterfly. And then um, another camper that was, uh, and a guy coming out of the camper. Um, it was kind of awkward. I couldn't, didn't know where else to put this and it's kind of facing the wrong direction. But, and then here's the um, bonsai tree set. I decided to put the bonsai tree in here. Um, don't know if it'll stay for long, but uh, it will, it will for now. And we have a little, um, a woman cooking uh, eggs and has a croissant, um, making breakfast there. So then that's one of the other picnic tables. And then over here, we have the rock face that I made. Uh, this is the first time with me doing it with lerps and burps, big rock, ugly rock pieces and little ugly rock pieces. And then obviously just added a bunch of slopes. And this is also my first time using reverse slopes in a mock or rock work in general. So uh, I think it looks pretty good. Tell me what you think about that. Here we have a small campsite with a tent. And there's a sleeping bag inside, a small little fire because there wasn't much space. <clears throat> and then we have a lady feeding a acorn to a black squirrel. This lady in the city... Uh, sets she is like a wilderness person and she uh tries to find um can't remember her name and she tries to find uh rare animals so i kind of put like easter egg in here that she's found a rare dark uh, black squirrel so um yeah that's the little easter egg there here we have the control point this lifts up to allow cars entering this is a stop sign so this came from a bat that stop sign came from a batman set i want to say and then we have a little check-in area. So these um, shutters open up. And then I used an old western door in the back. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and there's nothing inside this. This is just where someone will stand and collect fees, I guess, um, t for someone to use this campground. So typical building technique. It's a one by four slopes. All right, and then the last campsite, we have two people roasting marshmallows, marshmallows, um, and one of their marshmallows is on fire and there he's going to go blow it out. And then picnic table and a lantern thing with the same hookup, every single site has the exact same hookup. Then here we have a station for you to pick up uh, firewood and then there's a place to cut your firewood and there's a little ax there. Um, and I think that is everything. I do plan on eventually adding two more base plates and trying to build a little bit more activities for people to do at this campsite, maybe a pond and a um, pond or a campground on it. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, if you have any thoughts and advice that I should add to this, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.